Hi, I'm Janet. And I'm Michael. And this is The Book Report, the Internet's weekly literary talk show. Once a month on The Book Report, we're going to take a break from talking about books and talk about all the other things in the world that we like, most of which are very lowbrow, uh, because that is who we are. We're calling it Everything Gauche. I got it from the Elaine Dundee book, Dud Avocado. The main character in Dud Avocado said she wanted to start a magazine and call it Everything Gauche, and it set my heart on fire. What would you like to recommend to the folks that is not a book? I've just been watching reruns of Law and Order. It's lowbrow and formulaic, and, uh, and I completely love it. I, people love Law and Order. In the past few years, like everybody's come out of the woodwork as being yeah. in love with Law and Order. It's like that episode of Sex and the City where uh, Carrie's computer crashes and everybody's like, well, don't you back up? And she's like, is everybody secretly backing up all the time? Like, that's how I feel about Law and Order. Because I feel like all of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, yeah, I watched, I've been watching Law and Order every day for 10 years. I'm like, where's everybody been doing this? Where's my whole life, everybody's been watching yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's so comforting because it always generally plays out the same way. You've got like the um, the one-liners at the beginning of the episodes. It's always sort of maybe like vaguely related to the murder victim's profession. If I got murdered in the first five minutes of Law & Order, what would the, what would the one-liner say? It would be something like, looks like her review came out negative. My all-time favorite part about Law & Order is the episode titles. And um, I actually wrote down the top nine Law and Order episode titles, if you'd like to hear them. Uh, because I think... Yes. Number nine, promote this, exclamation point. Number eight, caviar emptor. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think we can all guess what, what happened in that episode from that title. Um, ran out of caviar. Number seven, three dog night, but dog is spelled D-A-W-G. Don't know why. It's a mystery. Number six, swept away, colon, a very special episode. Number five, whose monkey is it anyway? Number four, I have We Like Mike. It's not really that exceptional of a, of a title, but, you know, my name's Mike. Number three, Killers with a Z. <laughs> okay, these are my two favorite. I, th I would say these might be the best titles of anything ever, like books, anything. Uh, number two is By Hooker, By Crook. But it's spelled by hooker, comma, by crook. Yeah, yeah. Genius. Yeah, you just... And then uh, number one, uh, <laughs> I actually saw this episode, uh, Kiss the Girls and Make Them Die, <laughs> which you cannot, that is poetry. <laughs> Are you a lawman or an order man? Oh, that's such a good question. I have to say I'm a lawman, because uh, you get your Jerry Orbach, your Jesse L. Martin... Um, Dennis Farina, uh, may you rest in peace. All these these great people. I, I love a huge Sam Waterston fan, but it's hard keeping up with his ADAs because they all uh, tend to get murdered. What crime drama have you been watching? And I, I think that's what we agreed that we would just be talking about. A few weeks ago, I went to see the trip to Italy. Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon are both um, sort of British comedic actors in maybe their 40s or 50s. Um, who have been friends for a long time. And in these movies, they play themselves. In the first movie, The Trip, uh, they traveled around England together, staying at like fancy hotels and eating at fancy restaurants. And they're super funny. If you've seen anything from The Trip, you've seen the clip where the two of them are having lunch and they're both doing Michael Caine impressions. Yes and then criticizing each other's Michael Caine impression. <laughs> this one, uh, they do the same thing, but in Italy. They mm. travel around Italy, going to restaurants and writing restaurant reviews. You always hear about buddy comedies, but I would say this is a frenemy, com frenemy comedy. <laughs> you can just feel the decades of friendship behind it. It's amazing. It's amazing how much <laughs> you feel like you know about their friendship and their lives after just these two movies. These two movies portray friendship in the same naturalistic way that Friday Night Lights portrays marriage. Totally. Where you immediately are like, that is exactly what it's like. This is the best depiction I've ever seen of this. They're sort of not at all afraid of alienating the other person. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
because at this point they're not going to make new friends. I think it must in some way be based on their actual dynamic because totally. the portrayal is so natural. I'm going to say natural six or seven more times. <laughs> and then we can be done. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Everything Gauche episode of The Book Report. Next week, we'll be talking about Ben Lerner's new book, 1004. Make sure you don't miss it by subscribing or finding us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. All those links are down below. We're also on Goodreads. Um, and we'll see you next week. We'll never walk alone, Mike. You'll never walk alone, Jay.